Look what came in the mail! This is the Cackle Hatchery 2018 catalog. I am so excited about this. Um, this actually showed up at the beginning of January, but it took me a little while to decide what I wanted. So let's go through it a little bit, and then I'll tell you what we ordered. So if you're thinking about ordering chicks online, this is definitely the hatchery that I recommend. Um, we typically pick out our chicks through the catalog, and then we go online to order them. They do have a really great website where you can look at all the breeds there too. We've been ordering from them for the past four years. They're also fairly easy to get a hold of by phone, um, which is really great if you need to change part of your order or if you have any questions. Um, last year, a friend of ours ordered some turkeys, and she'd never had turkeys before, so she called them and they gave her a bunch of tips for raising her baby turkeys. So let's open this up and take a look. Um, I'll put all of this contact info in the description box below. So one thing that's really fun about this hatchery in particular is that they have a lot of different types of birds. Um, you can get chickens and turkeys and guineas and game birds and pheasants and ducks and geese. Um, I think they even have peafowl. Yeah, they do. And um, lots of different types of chickens too. So this is a really great place if you think that you might order a bunch of different types. Um, I think they also have quail. Oh, look at all these little baby chickens. I think I go through this catalog about a half a dozen times before I finally make up my mind because the birds are just beautiful and the chicks are so cute. So the way they have this laid out is that you can see the roosters and the hens and the baby chicks. Um, I really like having pictures of the baby chicks because then if you order a variety of birds, you'll be able to tell which are which breed. Um, when you compare them to the pictures. Oh gosh, these are gorgeous. Put those on my wish list. Not this year. <laughs> this is my favorite one right here. Um, I've ordered a few of these different types of um, chickens from them, and this breed is by far my favorite. They are just the most friendly, and they're just gorgeous birds. They have this really dark brown for the most part, but then they have little bits of black and white. They're just so pretty. Um, these are the ones that you're going to see in my videos following me around the yard and stuff because they're just so friendly. And you can see from the pricing that they do actually offer better deals um, depending on how many birds you actually order of a breed. So that's kind of nice too. And they have a couple different types of um, meat chickens and like special deals if you order um, a certain way and a certain number of each. Their rare breeds are so beautiful. I don't have a lot of experience with these particular ones. Oh, and here are their pullet packages. These are a good deal too if you aren't specific on which kind of breeds you want. Look at these gorgeous birds. You could also order by mail. Um, we usually do it online. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, here's their silkies. We um, actually have a few of their silkies still right now out there. Here's the pea fowl. They're so pretty. Someday maybe, but they're so loud. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, and they're turkeys. I really want some turkeys eventually, um, but we have to wait until we have fencing up for the sheep. Um, and then we'll probably get sheep and turkeys to live out in the field behind the ducks. Guinea hens, these are really great if you have um, a lot of bugs like ticks and stuff. Pheasants and quail. 
I used to have Caternix quail, but I decided to get rid of those and get into pigeons instead. They're so beautiful. Here's some duckies. And geese. I I really want geese. I think these are so cool, especially the Chinese ones. But um, Stu is not a fan of geese. He really dislikes them. Um, so I don't know that we'll ever get geese, but it's fun to look at the pictures. Gosh, they're cute as babies. Look at those little fuzzies. And they do sell some equipment and stuff as well, especially um, hatchers and, or incubators, I should say, um, and some equipment that you might want for taking care of baby chicks. There's some drinkers, some feeders. Some guides. So let's look at what I have decided to order for this coming year. Drum roll, please. Ta-da! We are going to be getting some Dark Brahma. Um, I decided to order them not sexed. Um, they're three eighty dollars a piece if you order three to four and three seventy a piece if you order five to nine. Um, I decided to get seven. So what I really, really want is three to four girls and then we're gonna probably grow out the boys and I'm thinking about maybe keeping one of the boys for breeding next year. Um, this year we have a really beautiful bird um, for our rooster but he is really not great for cold weather. So I kind of want to keep one of these boys and see if we can do something fun with his babies next year. The other thing that we ordered are these Freedom Rangers. Um, these are Meat Bird. I think they come by different names at different hatcheries. But um, these are supposed to be better if you want to do some free ranging and stuff like that. They grow a little bit slower and they don't have um, some of the health issues that you'll come across with the Cornish. So. If you order chicks this year, I would love to hear which ones you chose. I'm always curious to see what other people are doing with their flocks. And if you don't have a favorite hatchery, I highly recommend Cackle Hatchery. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.